monitoring equipment, sure. making sure that you're OK. At just 18, Alistair is prepared to put his health at risk for the greater good. He wants doctors to deliberately infect him with COVID-19 and then test a vaccine to see if it protects him. So you get a, you get a bed, you get a TV? Yeah, you get a TV up there, yes. It would mean spending weeks in isolation, so he didn't spread the virus to anyone else, but he says it's worthwhile. A trial where I'm being deliberately infected with coronavirus is not, is not a, a nice thing to think about uh, for anyone. Uh, and it's the same for me, as I would much prefer for there to be no challenge trials and no pandemic, but we are in a pandemic. For me and for my family, it's kind of, it's, they know why I'm doing what I'm doing, um, and although they're worried, they're obviously, they're like me, they're cautiously optimistic as to the, the benefits that a challenge trial could bring, uh, you know, and they, they're hugely supportive. COVID-19 vaccines are currently tested in clinical trials of thousands of people to see whether they protect against the disease as they go about their everyday lives. But it takes months to get a result. By infecting 100 or so young and healthy volunteers, then giving them the vaccine in a so-called challenge trial, scientists should know whether it works within weeks. In a time when the pandemic is waxing and waning because of public health measures and so on, um, when we can't rely on the fact that there is transmission in, in the community to, to test the efficacy of vaccines, um, challenge tr trials can, can really give you that guarantee and, and let you progress with vaccine development um, in a really sustained sort of way. Young people are unlikely to get seriously ill, but there is the chance they could develop long COVID, the debilitating after effects of infection. Ethics experts say volunteers need to understand the risks, however small, particularly when there is no cure. Because there's that altruism, there's that positivity, um, that really puts extra focus on the importance of the consent process, both in terms of understanding what those risks are, you know, to the extent that they're known, because there's always the uncertainties, but also, I think, understanding how uncertain research is. Scientists from the Royal Free Hospital and Imperial College, along with the clinical trials company HVivo, hope to get ethical approval to start the first trial in January. More than 2,500 young volunteers have so far come forward. The government, which is putting up the money, hopes the studies will fast-track effective vaccines. Thomas Moore, Sky News.